actually today we're going to talk about the machines in our new fitness center. They're called Cybex machines. The first one's a leg press. The first thing you do when you come to a machine is check to see how much weight's on it. So I've checked the weight, adjust the pin, and then seated with my feet flat on the pad, pressing out and back, and you see it's pulling me up instead of pushing out. So it's working quad, glutes, and hamstrings. Then in order to work the calf muscles, just rocking up on the heels, this works the hamstrings as well as the calf muscles at the same time. Okay? And then the next machine is the leg extension and leg curl. Wherever you see a yellow pin, that's where you're going to make the adjustment. So I have a seat and I adjust this yellow pin to make sure that the top of my ankle is pressing against the pad. Then I adjust this yellow pin to put the pad on top of my legs. And then finally I adjust again the weight to make sure that the weight's just enough to, so that that tenth repetition is going to be challenging. Then extending the knees out and back ten repetitions at a weight that that tenth rep is extremely challenging. Then when I'm done with all ten reps, then I adjust this pin to the top so that now I'm ready for the leg curl. This is the back of your leg working your hamstrings. You should be able to do about 60% as much weight with the hamstrings as you do with your quadriceps. Good. So that's the quad hamstring. Next, this is the abductor abductor machine. So what we do is have a seat and adjust the amount of weight. And now we put the pads on the outside of the legs, bring the feet together, and then press out and back at whatever range of motion is comfortable. This is working the outside of your legs. It's called your gluteus medius. Then you adjust these pads by playing with that yellow, you can see the yellow uh, marker, and bring the pads to the inside. And now I'm bringing my legs together, working the adductor muscles, working the inside, the inner thighs. Okay? Doing your 10 reps there when you're done. Moving on to the abdominal machine. This is the most popular machine because it's working your abs. Although all it does is strengthen the abdominal muscle, it does nothing to lose the fat between the skin and the muscle. So you adjust this so that when you press forward, your elbows are almost straight and you're training your rectus abdominis, your external internal obliques, and transverse abdominis all in one movement. You can also change the pin so this now becomes a back exercise, a pulling exercise for the lower back, the quadratus lumborum. That's another great exercise. Okay, moving on to the smaller muscle groups now. This is for your triceps. This is for the back of your arm. So make sure the weight is light enough, bring your elbows in close to your body, and then just pressing down. This is working the back of your arm. Then without rest, if you work the antagonist, the biceps, you grab the bar and pulling up here so it's working the front of your arms, your biceps muscles. Again, choosing a weight that that tenth rep is extremely challenging. Moving over to the last, this is the upper back. Check the weight first, grab the handles, have a seat, and then the first movement should be with the muscles between your shoulder blades called your rhomboids and that allows you to pull for your upper back. So it's training your upper back. And with that same machine, you can pull this pin and then bring it all the way down to a rowing exercise. From here, seated, find yourself in a comfortable position, and then bring your elbows back towards your sides so that you're feeling the muscles between your shoulder blades start the action. And again, this is work in the upper back, as well as the rhomboids, the muscles between your shoulder blades. Now we're moving over to the chest exercise. It's like a bench press. Check the amount of weight first on your back. Extend your elbows straight up and down. The weights never touch, so you're getting a full range of motion, so you're training your chest area. Then to get your shoulders, you're going to again adjust this pin, and when you lift, you're now in a position to train the shoulders, but you also have to change this angle so that you don't impinge your shoulder joint. So from a seated position, you're going to be seated here and pressing up 
straight up and down. Good, and this is working the shoulders. This is working all three heads of the deltoids. This one's ready for chest. So check the amount of weight. Make sure it's enough so that that 10th rep is challenging. Grabbing the handles and then just bringing the handles together and feel the muscles of your chest working as the weights never touch. This machine also has another exercise where you take the pins and bring them all the way toward the midline of the machine and then you grab the inside handles and pulling out. So this is working your rear deltoids, the back of your shoulders, and a little bit of your rhomboids as well. Good. All right, that covers it for all the Cybex machines. We'll see you next week on Live Like an Athlete. Thanks for joining us. Back on.